gap down. Uh, I guess in re reaction to the election, but then just ripped. Um, I showed you back here. This was the uh, day before Brexit, and then it tanked for two days. Um, this one with the spy and the election this time, the, uh, which was everyone was comparing to Brexit, um, the futures went down. The Dow futures went down like 800 uh, overnight at one point. And I, I actually tweeted. I said, if I traded futures, I'd be looking for a bounce already. Um, you know, by the time it opened, it, I think it was only down a couple hundred points. And I think we ended up up 250 points on the Dow. So it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, you know, if you're not happy with the results of the election, there's a couple things you can do. You could uh, skip class, stage a protest, find yourself a little safe spot and cry with your friends. Um, all that stuff's going to help you. Um, maybe scream racism if you're Van Jones. All that stuff's going to help you. Um, and I think it's great, great, really positive solutions. So good job to everyone out there that's thought of these brilliant things. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, make a video here for the, for the watch list tomorrow. So it's not very big because whenever you have a huge market moving event, a lot of times the next day, by the way, you have kind of a narrow range. But also, um, you know, most stocks moved the same way so there's it's hard to find any stands out so stand out so here here's what i've got um tesla kind of gapped down and took out these recent lows but then closed strong i still like this one down here around 190 again i'm not an investor i'm just a day trader but it goes on watch for tomorrow for a potential setup for a long trade optt is pretty obscure but it's kind of hanging on it's holding that two support you can see back here it's busted loose a few times and when you go to 15 minute candles, it's had some pretty nice pops, right? It's had one here, here, and then today was kind of strong near the close. So there might be something brewing there. It's got good support below now, so I do kind of like that one. Um, CBI, Chicago, Chicago Bridge and Iron had a huge pop here. Uh, I think sold off with the market for the past week. Remember, there was nine days in a row in the spy that were red, right? Um, and so I think this one I probably had good news on earnings here if I had to guess. I didn't look it up. So this could be a good play. Um, it didn't close very strong, you know, but it's still held above its open. And with the recent action, this one might have a, a continuation of the bounce in it tomorrow. CXW, really big breakout after getting killed back here. Nice support below. Then it gaps up. Um, you know, it's got this gap to fill, so I'm not in love with it as a long, but it did close above its open. Had massive volume today, so it could have a continuation tomorrow. Um, VRX uh, is kind of obscure, but with the election behind us, this one might. And remember, this day right here, they came out and talked about selling a division or somebody was interested in a division and, um, for big, big money. So if you're short after this gap down, you're probably going to be a little nervous of another announcement like that that could really rip this thing. Um, and it closed pretty close to its two-day days high. Two day high. Um, I did call this long this afternoon, right when it was flagging below the early high. This was the yesterday's high. This was this morning's high. I'm showing you five minute candles here. So I called it long over this flag. I think I said 1563, 1549 stop. And you can see what happened. It ended up going and almost closing at its highs. It went to a 16, I think 14, um, but a pretty nice move there on a, on a fairly low risk setup. Um, it goes back on watch tomorrow. It's, this thing may catch a bit and, and start to rip up into that gap. So I want to watch that one. A couple more. SKLN uh, had this big pop here, and it's really kind of flagging. So it stayed inside. Today was inside of yesterday's range. This one might just get another pop higher. Um, it can really move when it does move. So I want to keep that one on watch. And then NSPR seems to have found support. I'll switch to 15-minute candles here. Um, yeah, nice support around 2 bucks, and it's starting to inch its way higher. Remember, this thing ran... Uh, from 152 to 439 in one session on a big old short squeeze. And that was only like, what, six sessions ago? And finding supports, so this one could have a nice pop to the upside. Um, we'll also be looking for gappers in the morning, so I'm going to leave the watch list at that. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll talk to you tomorrow.